Hi there, Living Light Family. <clears throat> I hope everybody's doing good. It's early. I'm having my coffee. It's a beautiful day. The sun is coming out. We got a little bit of rain in between. There's quite a bit of cloud cover. And we've had cloud cover for the last few days. It's still been nice though. And you start to look at the weather and you feel it just a tad differently than the way you used to. You're more appreciative. You honor it. You're grateful for it. There may have been times in your life where you would complain whether it was too hot or too wet or too cold. But now you're realizing that the weather has a purpose. It has energy. It has love. And it reacts to our energies, good or bad. I did a pre-pull of some cards for us today. And I'm going to share them with you. So the first card out was Athena. It's your inner wisdom. So use your inner wisdom, your inner guidance system today, if you're able. Use your senses. How is your body feeling? What thoughts are going through your head today? What kind of people are you encountering? Keep track of your thoughts. When you see people, strangers on the street, what are the thoughts that are going through your mind? What are you projecting out onto others? The second card was Archangel Sadolphin and it's gift from God. Gifts from God. So remember, God created everything and everyone. And everyone is a potential, is potentially a child of God. They're not necessarily a demon. We're not battling the flesh, right? We're battling spiritual warfare, projection, energy. That's what the battle is all about. And these people, many people, have been suffering at the hands of people's judgments, thoughts, and actions. If we really pay attention to how we're feeling and how we're treating others, we can make great changes in their lives. And in return, our lives will change greatly. Our abundance will start to improve. You'll have an influx of energy and knowledge given to you from God because you are doing the right things. You're keeping yourself in check. Pay attention to your ego because your ego wants to keep you safe. That's its job. That's been its job ever since you were a child because of the traumatic events that you went through. You develop this alter ego that just wants to protect you from people, different places and things. And in return, it actually prevents you from growing. And sometimes you can, you can battle with your ego and you want to make peace with your ego. And sometimes, you know, that ego can be relentless with you. It can call you down. It can tell you you're not worthy. But I'm telling you this. It's only doing this because the ego feels left out. So if you can find the qualities of your ego that are good and let them shine. Maybe your ego likes to smoke. Maybe your ego likes to have a drink now and then. Unless you're an alcoholic, a recovering alcoholic, I'm a recovering alcoholic. I'm choosing not to drink. And I choose not to drink because I realized whenever I would drink or buy alcohol from, like from the store, right? All the alcohol, all the food, everything that they're selling us is full of preservatives and chemicals. And you'll realize, like if you make a homemade wine or a homemade beer, the difference, the effect, that the alcohol has on you. I started to pick up how the alcohol was affecting me. So 
instead of succumbing to my addictions, I took charge of my life and made a firm decision that I will never drink again. Because in my experiences, I put myself in harm's way. It clouded my judgment. It clouded my connection with God and his teaching and his guidance. So I put myself in harm's way. And I don't know, you may not resonate with this reading and that's okay. Leave it for the next person if it doesn't resonate with you. I've learned over my life how to take control of my outcomes, what I wanted to see. And it's been from the help of many other people, many other content creators, many of our ancestors, many of the knowledge that has already been here for us all this time. I really encourage you guys to have a relationship with God. Connect to him through your Bible because the scriptures will start to make sense in this day and age. Perfect sense. You may get stuck on a scripture, but don't be hard on yourself. Maybe that scripture wasn't given to you at the right time. You weren't ready to absorb the information. Hold your Bible in your hand, say a prayer and ask God to guide you to the right scripture in your Bible. And I can almost guarantee that the scripture you open to, you'll find the one that's meant for you on the pages that he's showing to you. God works in mysterious ways and his powers truly are supernatural. He created everything, every rock, every crystal, every beautiful human being. And we can choose to be in darkness, the blackness, you know, dense, miserable, broken, or we can shine and sparkle. Because when we use things for good, that's God, because God is in everything. If you're using the occult to project onto people, wickedness, curses, harm, then that is what you will receive now. There's no time between what you say and the reaction you are receiving. There's no time anymore. It happens instantaneously because your subconscious is awake and your subconscious will continue to eat at you, pointing out what you're doing, especially if it's wrong. It will never let you relax. It will constantly bring up things from your past that you've done to people so that you can make peace and hopefully move on and start reaping some of the rewards that you were promised before you let your darkness take over. This is Black Ossidian. It's the tip of a spearhead. I found it on the beach here where I live. I was out walking my dogs. We were picking up trash along the beach. I pick up pieces of ropes I pick up, you know, um, the foam, styrofoam. Usually I take a bag with me. Sometimes I forget, so I carry as much as I can carry and I take it to the trash. But I was walking back out and I had an armful and the two dogs in tow, watching for eagles to make sure they didn't grab the dogs. Junior was really, um, um, playful. He really liked exploring. Whereas Fawn, she always stuck close to me. So we're walking along and this big <laughs> gleaming light hit my eye. And it hit the dog's eyes and they're both curious too. So we walk over and it was just under the trees, right? Because when the trees grow along the ocean, they grow really low to the ground. And they get full of all kinds of seaweed and 
bugs and stinky stuff. And I don't know how I missed it walking past, but on the way back after having that armload of trash and just giving thanks, I was gifted this. I really like it. It keeps me grounded. It's black obsidian. Anyways, we all go over and we lift up the branch and there this is. It's just sticking out of the ground just like that. You know, it was propped up against and wedged between two other rocks. But the sun just caught it just right and it just had a nice big beam of light. And it showed itself to me. So I brought it home. I asked if I could take it. I was granted. So I took it home and it's been here with me for a while. I had given it to our mayor to put into the, the museum, but it never made it there. It just sat on his desk, so I took it back. So I'm holding on to it. I've been debating whether or not I should turn it into a necklace or just leave it as it is, because it sits really nice. So that's my little story about that rock. I'll just put it here. And I'll move on to the next card for you. The next card I pulled was Crystal Cave and it's trust. So trust your instincts always and trust the guidance that God is giving you. He'll never lead you down a path that's wrong. Then the next card I chose was Elves. It was playfulness. Learn how to be playful. You might struggle with being playful because you were forced to grow up too fast. So it's perfectly natural to feel out of sorts or not knowing how to be playful. Listen to God. He'll show you ways on how to be playful. It could be listening to music. It could be dancing. It could be singing your voice using your voice it could be coloring it could be lego it could be playing with your dolls it could be playing with your dog it could be just looking at some of the stuff that you've acquired and remembering where you got them and who you got them from but be playful the two numbers that are on there's card number nine and card number 15. so angel nine or angel 15. However that resonates with you. So, we got Inner Wisdom, Athena, Archangel Sadolphin, with gifts from God. So use your trust and payful playfulness. And the next one we got Valerian Root, and it's Acceptance. Accept yourself for who you are. You're a child of God. There's nobody else like you. You're an individual. And it's card number 44. And then we got Jurga and Sasha. And it's card number 22. And it's Transfiguration. Transfiguration. So you're transforming. And everything around you is changing. It could be towers for some people, but yours is secure. You are protected. Then we got the sirens. So they want the spirit, universe, God wants you to use your voice and expand to find your freedom, right? Call in more light. Ask God, the Holy Spirit, to come into your heart and to guide you. And then we have immerse yourself. You could be going through some training. You could be learning. You could be discovering new hobbies. You could be discovering new passions. Once you get to know yourself and figure out the things that you like to do that brings joy to your heart and has shines light for other people 
as long as it's bringing joy to you and joy to others and being helpful, you're good to go. As long as it's for the good of all. So, you know, what you're able to do is endless. Don't put any barriers on yourself. Instead of saying, I can't do something, say, I can. And then ask God to help you. Ask your angels to help you. And we have gentle force. Be consistent, persistent, and patient with yourself. Because you're in it for the long game. There's a lot of people in the world still that need lots of help. Some of them may have struggle asking for help, so remember that. And then we got the wellspring. Ask yourself, what are you thirsty for? Maybe you need to take better care of your body. Remember to breathe. You may need to rest more. Rest knowing that you have the armor of God over you. Pray before you sleep for protection and the angels to watch over you. And then we have this king tide. The key words are plenty, prosperity, receiving the fullness of life. Once you open up to your own inner power, all of these things are available to you at any time. Everything is working out in divine order. Every step you take is guided by God. Jesus walks with you. He's a part of you. His blood is in your veins. Once you realize that, you're going to overcome all those obstacles. God bless Collective. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in my next upload. I love you and welcome to my new subscribers. <laughs>